Group TV presented by Barstool Sports uh, onto the player rating segment uh, for the Arsenal versus Zurich game ended 1 0 to Arsenal. That's the last game of the Europa League. We finished top of the group. Uh, let's start with our man in Gates as we usually do, Aaron Ramsdale. I'm going to give him a six today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, his kick in today, bro, was, was atrocious. You get me? I think he'll know that himself as well. Um, was not good enough today. Major improvements are needed on Sunday in his kicking because when we go to Chelsea, we can't just be giving the ball away like we did. You get me? There was a couple of a couple of times when he's just you get me literally kick the ball out or pass it out, and they're just straight in on us. You understand? Can't be doing that on Sunday. He did keep a clean sheet, so he he won't get a five or lower than that. But today, Rams gets a six. Uh, right back, Ben White, <coughs> seven. Um, solid again, you understand? No trouble down his side. Uh, great piece of um, play for the goal. You get me heavily involved in the key moment in the game. Clean sheet as well, you understand? 70 minutes of good work for Benny White. Seven. Center backs. Uh, let's start with Gabriel. Gabriel gets a seven as well. Um, very solid and composed today, unlike his partner. Um, looks like he's ready to go for Sunday, which is good to see. Uh, his partner, Rob Holden. Holden gets a five, and the only reason he's coming out of a five is because we survived that final um, onslaught from Zurich. But most of the opportunities was down to him, blood. You understand? He's coming out of the defence, he's going for a Sunday walk. You understand? Lovely walk down the beach, him and his missus. You understand? Got the dog there. Loving life, bro. You understand? Like, wifey's catching a tan. Donny was loving life. I'm like, brother, where are you going, bro? Like, Pride Month was a couple of months back. Were you coming out now for, like? You, you left it a bit late, bro. If you're going to come out, you should have come out months back, my nigga. You understand? But you get me? Like, he was, he, he, he got spun a few times as well, bro. You understand? It's only because there was a clean sheet and a win. You get me? He's, he's coming out with the five blood. Easy, easy on the missus. I'm a big fan. That's respectful, by the way. Big fan. No, she's cool, like I said. She's catching a suntan. You understand, like that's, that's why. That's why I said that's respectfully. I said, like, yeah, yeah. I said, yo, that's why I said she's loving life, blood. He's just there. You get me, like rum punching big his fan hand. of the missus. What the fuck, blood? Little cowboy hat on. Fuck's he dealing with? Uh, all right. We did Ben Way. So Tierney, we did the right back. So left back, Tierney. Tierney, I'll give a seven as well. Um, now nah, you know what to be honest. I'm gonna give Tierney an eight, blood. You understand? Yeah, that's, well, that's where I was like, yeah, What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah what? it's true. No, 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 because no, 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 because Ben White and Saliba, sorry, not Saliba, Ben White and Gabriel were, were just as good as Tierney, bro. It's just Tierney got the goal, you the understand? Goal. So he gets the extra, the extra mark. You get me, but you understand? Um, I think he's all right as well with, with the knock that he got. I think Arteta's more worried about Tomiyasu. He said he's gonna have to look at Tomiyasu in the next 48 hours to see what's going on with him. I think Tierney was just more a little knock, but he should be all right. But you get me. Every time Tierney's gone in this season, he's put in a good performance, bro. You get me. He's, he's, he's done really well. And I've, I've been saying it, like he's pushing f to come back into his into his spot. You get me. And fantastic finish today. He's done a lot down the left-hand side, creating as well. You understand? Good link-up play with Eddie as well. So, yeah, KT gets an eight. Man of the match. On to midfield, uh, El Neni. El Neni gets a, a six today. Uh, first performance back since um, the injury. And I think he done well. Um, played some really good uh, balls going forward. Uh, brought composure to the midfield. And he brought something different in the Europa League that we haven't seen in that midfield. You get me? When, when lokonga has been in there, we see nothing, blood. You understand? Today, we saw a couple of things. You get me? So, yeah, Mo gets a six. You alluded to him, Flokonga. This brother asked to be played in, in the eight. <clears throat> yeah, he's asked to be played in the eight in a more forward position. And Donny is still going backwards. So, you understand? He can't even make a five yard pass to Nketiah. Two times. It's not like it was a one error. He done it back to back like Drake, bro. You get me? Every week, this brother shows me that you are not of the level of Arsenal Football Club. 
even in the Europa League, you are not the level, bro. So where we're going, we're going back to where we belong, which is the top of the food chain. This brother is nowhere near the top of the food chain. Whoever scouted La Conga for us needs to be sacked. Needs to be sacked. Yeah? Because it's a lie. It's a lie. It must see him uncle is the scout. Yeah? And and and, and one, give me, give him family our, our money. Because, dog, I don't see nothing in this kid. I don't see a progression. I don't see nothing, bro. His ceiling is tiny. You get me? His ceiling is as big as Trey's clubhouse when he was free. That's <laughs> tiny, bro. You get me? It's, it's, you understand? Tiny, bro. You understand? Like, four. <laughs> I, I just want to add, so my thing is, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going after him, my thing is, Here's the thing. We, we've had we've had Lokonga interviews like three weeks in a row. Him crying about not playing. He's cried three weeks in a row, new different interviews just dropping every week, and this is what he puts up. It's just not good enough. Um, on to the attackers. Reese Nelson, out wide. Reese, I'll give a six. I think he done all right. He went a bit ghost a couple times in the game, but he, he's, you understand, he's, he's been out. He ain't played a lot. You understand? Obviously, that performance he had on Sunday, it, it, it was going to be very hard to replicate that. But the ball he played in for... Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to give Reese a seven. He was interlinking, yeah. He was, he was, yeah. He was active. Yeah, because, That first half, he was very active yeah, on that. That day. first half down the right-hand side, you get me, he was causing trouble. Trouble, you get me. Even in the second half, he had a few moments. So, yeah, a seven for Reese. Uh, through the middle was Vieira. Five. Another average performance from him. He had two great opportunities to score. He fluffed his lines. He goes wandering in games. For 20 minutes, you won't see him, bro. You will not see him. No way. You understand? It's, it's going to take him a long, long time to adapt to this English football. You get me? Like, he's going to need the season to adapt, bro. You understand? You're going to see flashes of greatness like we did in the Brentford game. But then you're going to see performances like this as well. You understand? The only difference with him and Lukonga is I can see something in Fabio Vieira. I just think he needs time to adapt to our playing style, our culture, our way of living. You understand? So, yeah, a fire for Vieira. Uh, uh, wide, Eddie? Eddie, I'll give a six. Um, He's done a lot better today than his previous games. Unlucky not to get a goal. Unlucky not to get an assist as well. You get me? Because he put it on a plate for um, Fabio and obviously a great save from the keeper. But still need a little bit more from him, but six. Up front, Jesus. Jesus, I give a seven. Work rate, second to none. You get me? The only thing with him is that he, I don't want him dropping deep as much as he does. You get me? Because when he drops deep, there's no one in the box. You understand? So we're whipping it into no one. You get me? And yeah, the other I think thing, we're missing we're missing Martinelli for that today. I think. You feel me? And this season, I, Martinelli's the one that's been going in. Yeah. And I think that um he need like when he wins the ball and he pops it, he needs to be a bit quicker to run in the box. So when he so like when he gets it and he pops it off to like the winger, he needs to sprint in that box. Sometimes he waits at the edge of the box, he needs to get more in the box. You get me? That's the only thing I'd say. For Jesus, but um, another good performance from him. Seven. <clears throat> All right. Off the bench, who came off? Pate? Um, Standard five. Uh, Tommy Asu came off the bench. Standard five. Saka? Standard five. Yeah, that Old one little run, that was it. Odegaard? Yeah, standard five. He just came yeah. in and blended. And and Cedric for, for when Tommy got injured. Yeah, standard five. Uh on to the ref. Yo, this ref, yeah. <clears throat> that last 20, that last like 30 minutes was that ref was corrupt, bro. Like that ref man man needs to check his bank account and see what games he's betting on. You understand? Because I'm sure he had a one-one bet on this game, bro. Because the decisions that I was seeing being that he was making. Was absolutely ridiculous. That yellow card that Gabriel got. That Gabriel, I was about to say, that Gabriel header, bro. That Gabriel header. 
That was a catastrophe, man, yeah. <laughs> in the words of in the words of Jersey Jerry, it's a catastrophe. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> yeah, it's a catastrophe. Yeah, <laughs> brother, he got the ball fair and square. Like, what are you supposed to do? Not not fucking jump, bro. Like, bro, that referee can suck him, mama, for a straw blood. Yeah, minus fifty. Uh, and then lastly, the manager. You want, me, you want me to tell, tell you mine while you're thinking? I gave him a six. I would give him lower, dude. Those and risking the injuries, I would give him lower. Do you know why I give him a six? Because I said during the watch along, I don't get why. The only, the only, the only, the only substitution I query is the Tomiyasu one because Cedric's there, and you understand. In this kind of game, you can use him as an option. It's not like we're playing a Liverpool. Or, or, a, or a Chelsea, you get me? Or a Tottenham, where that level was a bit too much for Cedric. This level here, Cedric will go there and boss it. You understand? The, the, the Partey and Saka one, when, when you saw what happened in that final 15, that's why he put Partey on. Because he knew that, yo, we're going to lose the midfield. You understand? Lokonga's in there, and then he's going to get tired. He ain't played for long. You get me? The Saka one, that was, that, that was so we had something on the break. Because it was literally only Reese Nelson, bro. You understand? And and I mean, Vieira weren't bringing nothing, so you get me. You, you oh. still would have. You still would have done that soccer one at, at one 0 up. The I can understand. One. I can understand the party one. I can understand the party, but the one at at one 0 you do the soccer one. The soccer one because you know one one, you're fucked, bro. You need another goal. So the position we were in in this game, we needed to win in it. So I kind of get the soccer one. So for me, six. We did the yeah we did do the ref yeah that's it that's everything that's the player rating segment for uh, the Arsenal versus Zurich game uh, Zurich game it ended one 0 to Arsenal at uh, the Emirates with through as top of the league Europa so that means that we bypass the first round of knockouts we go through to the to, to the next one so got it done Troops TV presented by Barstool Sports uh, I guess we'll see you for the Chelsea game. <laughs>